Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Snowtown here in City Skylines where guys, last episode we finally added in our, which for the most part I think is going to be our only airport, I'm not sure if we're going to add in a second one, but we added in our first airport in the town last episode and it has been a huge success. Hundreds of people are now traveling to Snowtown via the air. Not too many people want to leave, which is a good sign. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty interesting. We've now actually hugged up the subway line linking to it. We brought a highway running pretty close to it as well. And today I want to focus on that highway. I've got to get it all sorted correctly because people landing at the airport right now are having quite a little bit of a struggle leaving via vehicle so we're gonna get the the highways all set up and hopefully then start working towards and around it we're building up some more dense stuff and buildings which is going to be pretty cool so as always guys if you do enjoy Stowtown and want to see more then please make sure you smash that like button down below and if you are new around here make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out now every so often we do get a plane that likes to sky bomb it down like this one right now. I'm not sure where it's going, but hey-ho. There we go. Perfect landing. 10 out of 10. Oh, no. There we go. Loop-de-loops. Doing all the loop-de-loops right now. Are you okay, plane? <laughs> are you seriously okay? And then you get the ones that do actually land perfectly fine. And the other ones are just, again, dive bomb it in. Oh, there we go. Will it do it again? Um. Oh, there it is. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. But look at that, 600 people used the airport recently. A lot of them are using the subway line, which I've recently found out. Someone let me know in the comment section. There is a bug with the subway lines, and apparently it's to do with the 81 tiles mod. Uh, every time you buy a new piece of land, or it could be every time you reload the game, the subway lines sink. I know, I know weird yes i know it's weird but we're gonna work out with this highway then so this is the current highway right now which what they're doing is the passengers that are kind of leaving the airport via vehicle they will drive down here like they do and because we kind of abruptly ended the highway here because we weren't too sure what we we're gonna do with it they drive up to here turn around up they go and then off they go because the the highway is the quickest way to get to wherever they need to get to from that point now, what I want to do today is extend this highway, which will probably be the dominant highway that they're going to use from the airport, all the way up to here, and then run along here somewhere. We'll kind of end it today because I'm still am not 100% sure where it's going to go, but we're going to run it up here anyway, and then we're going to have this highway connect to that highway. And then we're also going to set up some on and off ramps here, which I think I might do that first, which lead to this entry point. So as they're driving out, they can jump onto the highway, either go left or right, whatever they want to do to get to where they need to get to. So we're setting up the airport highway infrastructure so we can um, future proof our city. So basically, we're trying to get the traffic not using the roads straight and on and off the highway so we can keep the ground traffic to a minimal. So what we're going to do then, I think, you know, what I will do is actually work with the junction here first. Now, I'm going to create something very similar to what we've done over here. So picture this, the highway going across there, the entry point to the highway, um, to the airport road is here, airport's here. And this is the kind of system that I want to go with. But instead of going under, we're going over the top. Of the highway now that's gonna be really interesting to try and achieve that because it gets some great great distances but it should be pretty fantastic right let's jump into the roads then get to the highway and we're gonna use the um let's see the two-lane highway to begin with because that's what we're gonna use to kind of lead up and build up to it so we do this in stages then we go up by plus 10 to begin with which will happen Right, let's make it happen here. Now bring this out by... I'll bring it out by 10, but then make it go up by 20. Oh, no. No, I can't do that, sorry. Maybe about 10, because I've got to split it into two separate roads. So if I bring that there to there, and then we... Oh, that's another issue. Okay, well, hold on. Right, I'm already, I'm already finding my issues straight away. Okay, so we start here again. It's a single road by 10, a single road by 10. Here, single road there, 
single road there. So they're the two roads. So if you think about this side, this road here, if you're in this lane, you're going over and then turning to go that way to the left. This one is a straight, straight turning to the right. But to lead up to that road, we need our two lane road there, which will bring it straight up and then connect that in somehow. I'm not entirely sure how we'll do it. Let me see. How about if I... No. Um, see, this is why it's kind of difficult. If I delete that, come down by five. See, that's better, Seniac. Come on. Get to grips with what you're doing right now, you damn fool. Uh, but even that's a little bit too chaotic. I still don't need it to be a two-lane, do we? Because we're not coming off that three lanes. So why don't I just merge it into a single lane? Which makes a little bit more sense. Select this. Right, the lane mathematics are not going to be perfect on this one. It's so, so object height here. So we are gradually inclining this. Now if I select these, this, and this. And then choose all this to be sloped. There we go. So we're leading up to it quite nice. And then let me bring this up here. I think we'll go in by... What should we go in by? A nine? Let's go and buy an eight. Obviously, flip it round. So you exit the road here, which I'm going to turn that then into a single lane. Maybe we'll see how it goes. We turn off there, split into your two lanes. Holy smokes, I did not do the uh, sloped angles on this, did I? I missed that one out by the looks of it. All right, slope. There we go. And obviously, that one's going to slope a little bit higher. But you can see then how we filter into those lanes. So like I said, lane math is not going to be amazing on this. Because it, it, we just got an awkward set of roads to begin with anyway. So let's do like this then. So this here would be a, a connection by 9. But then with the power of the movie tool, we can spin that in like that. But we can do lane math on the actual highway itself. So the turn off here... If I do it correct. So by 9. And make sure we get this bend just right as well. There we go. And then we upgrade this section right now. We have to anarchy the rest. Boom, there we go. So lame math can work really well at this point. So we select this. And pretty much... Oh, hang on, I got that the wrong way around. <laughs> What's going on, boy? What's going on? Let's take two. Right, there we go. So that lane straight on, that lane straight on. This right-hand lane turns off, which then splits a three into a two. And then here, it goes to a two into a one there, which makes a three. So right now, they're going to use that as the shortcut route to get over to there to turn around on the UE. I don't mind that. We can kind of see how it works. Glorious. Glorious. Alright, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. So, we'll do that now the opposite way to coming into this area. So, from there to there down to 10. And then and we'll get rid of the anarchy. And obviously, we cut into there as well. Now, did I have to use the move it tool or did it all kind of flow okay? It all did kind of flow okay, but because I had anarchy on, it's kind of messed up that. And delete this back to here because this came by to there and then into there. And then I'll just slightly adjust it with the move it tool. About there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, all good. That feels like it should come down a bit lower. Or is it just me? It could legit be just me. But then we obviously sort out the lane management here. I don't really need to do it, but it's there anyway. Now, I know I'm merging two into a one at this point, but I, I can't really do much about that, I'm afraid. I can't really do much about that. So let's now sort this out, because this is going to be the interesting bit at this point. So if I pick there... I mean, I'm going to raise it up by 20. So there to go across to... Here, I'm going to anarchy this as well to here and then there to here so that's the same length same width same star going across 
We've just now got to get that kind of connected up to here. So that did that perfect there. And we'd have to do the, the sloped angle. So it does get a little bit funky, but we, we can slope it beautiful. We can slope it pretty beautiful. There we go. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Before we then I entwine it and take it all the way we want it to go. So let me flip this around. Sweet, mate, sweet. And let me select the angles that we kind of want to work with. So I can go here, here, there, 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 there. Okay. And let me see what happens if I slope them. Alright, not bad. Got to sort the sloping angles out on this. Or not rotate randomly. There we go. And I think we're kind of going to get... Oh, there's, there is a slight bump here, isn't there? Oh, take it right back down to there. Or is that just how it's going to be? See, it's not the perfect incline on that side. And I don't know why, because I've got them sloped, sloped like, angled perfect. I think it's just because it's such a short distance. I don't really have much given it, do I? Hmm, no, not really. But like I said, that is now all leading... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It could be because that is not even in a straight line. Okay, that's definitely a little bit more straighter. How did that happen then? Oh, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to freaking question it at this point. Just let me live my life. <laughs> let me live my life. So this is going to bend round right now. Now, it's quite far away at the minute. So let's try and, and um, accomplish this. So if I go up by a 5 by 5, that bend seems okay. Now, I want to get it kind of-ish close. What are we saying? What are we saying? Let me go straight mark here. And if I brought that just to there to kind of mess about with it for a second. Now, is that... If I come up by, by four. Is that deemed... Because I've got to bend that down to kind of go in. Is it deemed... It's deemed a little bit too close, isn't it? So we delete back. And we go... I'm going to go up by four. Up by four. We'll do a... 5 by 5 bend. We'll go across by 4. We'll do a 5. Is that the same length here? It's hard to tell the angles I'm working with. That's a 5. All right, five by five. Oh, hold on! Have I been in it the wrong way round? No, 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 no! I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's just I'm um I'm viewing it at a different angle. So, what do I go here? Should I go for by a seven or an eight? Let me select an eight because I've got to see how what the ink what the turn off is like. No, that would work. That would work. So let me just flip this all around. That's actually an, an okay turn off, right? I know the incline is ridiculous and I can sort that out. Do you know what? I'll sort it out now. So if I pick it from this point there. So that is how our turn will now happen. Oh, snap. No, don't do that. Wait, why, why did it do that? Why is it sloping my objects? I haven't got anything else selected, have I? Right, start there. There's that, 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 there. Why is it lifting that one? Right, I'm going to bring you down. Do I have to do this manually? I don't like doing it manually. And, and pick you, you, and you. Oh, snap. It's not even selecting now, is it? I'm having a moment, guys. Leave me alone. I'm having a moment. There we go. Okay, that's good then. 
So that does that little turn off there pretty nice. And then we want to mimic this. So this goes up and around to the left and then comes down and goes that way. And then that becomes a two lane road just there. So we can divide it really, really well. Uh, they're now coming down this way and turning off there. Rather than used to drive down here, turn off to come in. So we really are utilizing now our highway system, which is great to see. So let's get back to business. And we'll sort the angle, like the height differentials out in, in, a, in a momento. And this is then seven by seven will get us up to that section there. And then straight over by eight. So then what are we talking about now then? A eight by eight gets to there, but what about a seven? Nah. It's gonna be have to be an eight by eight. No, an eight by seven. Nine. No. Seven. It's gonna to have to be that eight by seven, isn't it? Eight by seven throws us into this point and we go for a I'm gonna go for an eight I can't remember what that was kind of bend us around like that <laughs> the angles right now damn boy and I wonder if this side will play ball with me this time because the other side didn't want to do it yeah that one does All right glorious so that becomes that little turn off there which is great which means that this section here becomes a two lane area so the turn off happens before the turn on that's the important part to take from this so three lane the two splits into a two the single bit there goes into a one and then they come back on like that so then no one's tripping over one another as they enter and exit the runway the runway the air no the highway uh, yeah. oh, I got airports on my mind. Uh, so yeah, it's important that the turn off happens before the turn on. Other way round, then they're going to be tripping over each other. Same on this side. The turn off happens before the turn on. And make sure that this is all hooked up. And make sure that this is good enough. And what's going on here then? So we tell them, yeah, we tell them that they can't go straight across there because they can do it in the car park if needs be. That really then sorts their lane management out. It depends on what lane they're turning in on. So I'll divide that back a little bit. There you go. Your lane's already preset. And yeah, there we go. We actually seen vehicles now use it, taking full advantage of our little airport intersection. Right, that's going to be really good. Now, they're all coming from this direction, which I assume is going to change the moment I set the secondary... Um, I, I keep calling these runways now. Uh, highway up, because it's probably going to be quicker to do a right, then go straight down, then drive all the way around there. This still has the benefit. I've got to eventually add a little on and off ramp in this little section to serve, you know, this area of the industrial side. And maybe over here as well. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting. So for now then... We're going to delete this little bit. Because the highway is going to continue. So let's start over here first then. And I'm going to bring up the parallel road mod. And we had problems with this last time. We really did. <laughs> so hopefully we can kind of sort this out. Oh damn, Saniac. You damn fool. So we're going to straight slope. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um... toggle reverse direction free lane highway now does that make it because we had problems with that last time where one was go yeah there we go one was there was both going in the same direction wasn't they now we've also got to remember or try and figure out my spaces between this so if i start with 30 what we're saying on this no not enough 40 Ooh. Is it 38? I've already forgotten what it is. But the easiest way to tell is to do it like that. Oh, was it 34 or 33? Oh, hello. Bulldoze. Why won't it go into bulldoze mode? Damn fools. It was 30, 32. I feel like this one's a little bit different.
How's that? 32 is bang on. Bang on, boys. So, let's start, try that again then. So, this running all the way up. is I'll sort that little connection problem out in a minute. We're probably going to have a few more anyway. So, that's going to run up to there. And it's to the point where it crosses over this road. It's going to run parallel. So, we need to make this road over here continue running parallel. So, let me turn the parallel roads off. So I think I'll bring it up to there. It will then, and then it will eventually this will turn and go in that direction. But it all depends on when this highway crosses over. So that if that comes to here. I've got to manually do the crossover because I want it to run parallel with the highway. Um, the road, sorry. That one actually connected. Unlike this side. Hmm. And, and I'm trying to remember what it was that made it kind of the gap. Because it's this kind of gap we need to kind of work with. But I don't actually remember what it was. So that's where we got to play around with this then. So we'll get it. We'll definitely get it. So obviously it's not that. Is it? Is it 48? I got 48 in my head, and I don't know why. Definitely not 48, is it? Definitely not 48. Um, right, let's go 78. I've really just like jumped it up there. Oh, I'm gonna press enter. Okay, it's not 78. 68. That's not far off. So we'll go 60. I'll go 63. No, it's not that. 65. 64. I should really write these numbers down so I know what it is. Yes, bam, there we go. So this obviously runs... Ooh, that's the actual point right now. Now, do I make it where this is the highway that runs that way and that's the one that connects to this one? Ooh, okay, hold on. I think I, I might, to be honest with you. I might. Yeah. Uh, right, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting excited now, aren't I? <laughs> so if I then... Right, I've got to try and get this the right gap, which that is it. And then that is 23. So the gap is 23. To then also make this 23. Which then connects like there. And then it slightly then obviously starts to run parallel with that road. But me doing that means that this bend here is wider. The highways are wider. So it gives me more room to kind of run layover roads that kind of pass through and stuff like that. So I'm going to spend a minute or two right now just sorting out where the roads didn't connect. So try and delete it on the straight parts, like on those little bends, just here as well. Let me fix my issues then. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cut an eye, Joe. Bam. Uh, oh, okay. we got rid of the power lines here. So I'm just anarchying through right now, just for the sake of them working. That's going to be so interesting. That really is. And then we'll make it then the road bend down so it kind of runs central. The highway will run central. Either, and, and I think I'll make it like run. The, we'll reclaim this bit. Either run over that to go out to there or run over these to go over to there. And that will give us the connection to these islands to then eventually build the fishing industry. That's what I want to do. Hmm. Okay. Okay, he says. 
Now, I'm, I'm connecting a free to a free. So lane math is going to be potentially out of the question with that. It's the equivalent of this, but th this was a bit easier because it was divided into into four. So you could almost get away the lane math on that, but this is going to be difficult because it's, it's technically three directions you're dividing, and that becomes a little bit more... Harder to play around with. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But that's how it's gonna work. And I'm yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, right. Okay. 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 So I won't do the parallel roads anymore. But I'll bring this down to here because we can do it all ourselves right now. So what I gotta think right is this road here is going in two directions. It's bending around that way. And it's going straight over to go in that direction. So each lane is going in two directions to begin with. But they're three lane roads. They're three lane roads. So I might split the three lane roads both into individual two lanes. So the three lanes become four lanes. A two lane goes in that direction. A two lane goes in this direction. You see where I'm going with this? It's going to be a little bit of a mess, but uh, it's 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 all I can really do, to be honest with you. Um, right, okay, so let me hook back to the two lanes. So if I start it on this road, and we bring this up to 20, and if I push this, wow, that's going to be, that's going to be quite a stretch, isn't it? If I pull it to there for the straight road and obviously it will kind of bend round and run parallel a little bit so I wonder if I can this is now all just kind of trial and error I, I, I've never done this type of bend before all right, if I bring it to there it's a little bit closer seven by seven and bend in okay and then I have what comes off here eight now this is I might have to pull it back a bit and have like a longer run run up to it so if I bring this down by 10 there, and then if I came to there, let me delete that again there, 9, It's difficult, isn't it, now, at this point? Got to put that road there so I can try and get the bend. So, nine. Now, is that too wide? I mean, too sharp? I think it is. I think it is. So, what if I came 16? See, a 16 by 16 might be enough for that bend. 16 by 14. And I need more road. Alright, if I just do that there, or if I bring this out a bit more, bring it by 5, that makes it 11 by 11 bend. Is that too sharp? I think you can kind of get away with that, can't you? You kind of can. So we're splitting a 3 into, into this. And do I put them a bit closer? That is the next question now. So I'm going to try it one more time. And what if we put these, like I said, a little bit closer? So that's maybe where the parallel road runs into it again. So if I delete up to there. I'm going to pa oh, that's way too far. If I go 20, what's that gap like? 
Yeah. Maybe. I'm gonna upgrade that road. Oh, snap. I forget. I, 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 I gotta turn it off. Right, that's lovely and close. But let's see where this now ends. So, 11 by 11. Now, like, it doesn't change much, but it changes the angle or the sharpness of it because of how close it is. And it's close enough now that we attach to it. And if I do that, use the move it tool. And like I said before, I am merging a free lane into a, like a four lane, so it's not going to be like amazing. Is that? I feel that's like a, a bit more, a bit too much of a stretch, isn't it? So get that free lane. Maybe merge it in a bit closer. So if I, if I go there. Let me undo that. We'll come off it. There. Get that a little bit more straight. Unless I just felt that into a single one lane road. And then the question is, what am I really taking away from it? Got an idea, guys. I've got an idea. Right, if I do felt that into a single lane. Right, one, it becomes a little bit easier to control. But I can do this in stages. I've got a really good idea for this right now. So leave that as it is. That's okay. So basically, three lane into a two, into a one. Now, this is going over to a two here, into a three. But if I make the turnover there, tu the turnover there becomes a two, which means this becomes a single one. Turn two over to there. Then that becomes a one off there, so it becomes a three, and that becomes a two. Oh! <gasps> I've got it. I've figured out a way to do it. Now, if that didn't make sense, I completely understand. Watch this magic about to unveil right in front of your freaking faces right now. Okay, guys. You ready for this? So, if I pick this spot here to run all the way down to there, right, that's where the road up here is going to come over and then cut in. That's how that's going to work. So then we are going to have this singular lane run quite close. Now that is a little bit wider than the other one. So I want to select trees. Get that. Push it in a bit. And then that comes obviously from this direction. So if I pick here run it to there and then where does is that it there nine by nine and then straight right that's the height okay that's the height and then what happens then here so let me try and visualize it for you oh snap oh snap oh snap oh snap that becomes the two lane, and I explained it. That becomes the two lane because it's going to turn off there from three. There's the one. The two continues, and then becomes a three because the turn off there was a singular. I've done perfect lane math. That there comes off as a two to go down to there, which would join this as a one because the two came off here to overlap to go to there, which combined with that singular becomes a three. I'm either a genius or I was so freaking stupid at the beginning. I'll let you guys decide in the comment section down below. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, this is painful, isn't it? This is painful. So I'll make the connection happen just there for those guys. Which I'll do right now. We'll do actually we'll do it as we go along. Uh, or should I Oh snap, wrong one. Run it a bit further up. Let's run it a bit further up for the fun of it. Right, so if I run that to there. Oh, hang on. Get that back. Push that in a bit. And then just use the move it tool to kind of jazz it up. There we go. <clears throat> I can make it like a whole lot easier and just cut through that way. I don't actually know why I'm running it all the way down there. That actually makes no sense, does it? Right. What have we got there? An 18 by 18. See, that makes a little bit more sense, having the bend happen like that. That connects in down to there. We might actually start seeing vehicles coming down here right now to go to there. That will be interesting to see. That cuts in. Lane math complete on that side anyway. On that side anyway. So let's just now get them all connected. i, I got to sort out all the lane heights as well and all the sloped angles. Let me pull that back a bit. Lane math complete just there. Two and a one makes a three, but I've got to do the over pass right now. Now, two lane road, it is going to happen here. So if I go to there, bring that up by 20, and then I've got to get it to connect. So if I drop that just there a second. 10. Now this is going to be the difficult part because I've got all that in the middle. T Ooh, it's got to go higher. Okay, to there. Delete that. So we've got exactly how we want it to work. I've just got to sort out the lane heights. So that's got to go a lot higher than it currently is. And then this here becomes a singular lane so it's not going to look amazing but then that single and a double merges into a free so it, it actually works it actually works like that i don't know why i didn't think about it in the first place i was i, I think i just overcomplicated it didn't i i must have just freaking overcomplicated it but bulldoze that come off from a two here there that works so all i gotta do is connect this section up here but obviously i can't yet because we've got to extend the highway a bit further uh, that road there is a little bit too far away from this so i'll have to redo that but that's how that's going to work we've just got to now sort the alignments out so if i can do that i can then sort out all the slopes can't i so if i pick these spots here or oh, it'll be easier to do it like this so if i raise this up by 30 there select them three spots align into object height of that then what i can do is pick you 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 and you there and if i slope them that's like a nice incline coming up or going down at that point and this is the one coming up. So if I go and I go by four, so the more I select, the gradual the incline is. That passes up and over. But then do this one going. Well, actually, you know what? Let's take it all the way to the top. Slope. Oh, I missed those. Yeah. Slope them. That's better. Which means I can. Do I need to play around with that, or is that okay? No, bring it in a bit. I'll do all the lane management in just a minute anyway, making sure every lane goes in the right direction. But that passes over to there. That comes down quite nice. That doesn't change any elevation. Uh, that one changes elevation up by 20. 
But was it already at 20? It already was at 20. Now that's high because... Ah, that originally went over this one. So that's at 20 anyway. So that's really high. Right, we can delete that. Vehicle's already coming down here and using that little turn off, which is good to see. So we'll now quickly set up the lane management. There we go. So coming down to here and to there. And we don't have them connected, but we'll leave them for as it is right now because there's no need for them to go down that way. We'll add in the last little bit. Send the anarchy off, unless I need to put it back on for this bit. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's the issue now then? Uh, space already occupied. There we go. So I don't know why that junction was going to be difficult. I've just really simplified it going down that route. I really have. So if I was to continue that fashion, I'll just extend it a bit more. Or should I just sort it out now? I'm not too sure on which way I should approach this. But if I brought that down to there, this, say, came down to there, right. If I delete that, 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 and that, and let's say that came directly down. And I can sort out my two laner. Oh, is that too, is that way too close? Yeah, that's way too close for what I've been doing. And then... 11 by 11 so that merges into there like that and then this just merges off there like that so if I flip these around the right way lane management happens there Happens there. We'll just sort of add the elevation change real quick. Alright, we'll do it to there. Slope quite nice as it leads back in. Here, there, 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 and there. Slope them pretty nice. And there you go. That's that's kind of it done. That is then kind of that done. So I ain't gotta play around with it anymore does what it needs to do that was i made it way more difficult than i needed to but at the end of the day it's now freaking done so we'll leave i'll eventually have a on and off section here when we, when we split a road through the middle so an on and off ramp there will be good to serve this general area a on and off ramp there to serve this area i'll have a little bit further up as the road bends an on and off ramp there to serve this general area which would be handy. So on and off ramps every so often, so we can kind of quick bypass certain areas. Um, vehicles are now using this highway. Let's get out of that for a minute. Did a vehicle just disappear on me? Let's watch these vehicles right now. No, they're okay. They're okay. Oh wait, no wait. Did some disappear? Yeah, they did. I don't know whether it's because they've, they're still driving down. Their routes haven't updated because I've just deleted their roads. But some vehicles are driving through, so it's okay. Um, yeah, it's... Ooh, that's, it's cutting close a little bit there. But I can lower the train tracks when needs be. Are we seeing any trains come through? Okay, there's a train there. Where's it going? It's going straight. Yeah, it's an awkward incline here anyway. But I don't think this is staying, to be honest with you. Yeah, the trains don't hit it. I don't think that's staying. I've got to reconfigure this to get over to there. So I'll just leave it for now then. It's no big issue. Um, I actually like this junction. I don't like this bend here though. I feel like, you know, to be honest with you, I feel like this needs to happen a little bit further up. So back to the highway situation. And... Uh, oh no, it's the wrong one. 
So the free lane happens there. So that goes up to there. There. Yeah, that's a bit better. We we'll roll with that a little bit more. But yeah, it's a bit. It looks a bit weird because I'm not used to like having that road there. Would would normally still be a free lane road. Uh, I've done like lane management and maths. Perfect on that. So it still looks a bit funky, but we know it's like a 100% good to go. I've deleted that now, so I gotta re-add that back in. There we go. Glorious. Okay then, so we've got that set up then. We've got an on-and-off ramp section here for the airport. Now what's interesting is, it looks like the majority of them are driving out this way to go down, but they're coming this way round to go up. Now that could be, by looking at it, turning off there to go down, round and up. Might be a little bit quicker than going all the way up to here to go round that way. But then going round that to come down to here to then go round that. It's shorter than to go around this way. I don't know. I don't know what it is for that. I honestly don't know what it is, but they seem to be using different routes. But I like the fact that they're using both ways anyway. Not everyone's doing it. So it is, you know, separated quite nicely. But once I get this highway connected up to the edge of a region, that becomes an, a major bypass route leading all the way through. So this highway here just completely tears through the middle. Now, looking at this, you couldn't even tell, because we've done the lanes that we have, we couldn't even tell whether this, the lane, the highway going up to here, is it meant to go around bend this way? Or is it meant to kind of come down and bend around this way? We don't know now. I mean, you could probably say, it's, well, we did set it up to go around this way, but, you know, that's an argument for another day. <laughs> it really is. But it's still pretty cool there, isn't it? It is still pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. But now this is all set up, like I said, I can do an on and off ramp here, which means I can then fill up this area. I can do an on and off ramp here that links up this so I can sort out this area. I now have the highway ready to turn to go up to there so I can then play around with this area. It's all coming together again. There's new areas that I'm now reaching, new areas that I'm now connected to. So we can go on a little bit of a crazy expansion. We do need some more industry, which we'll kind of build that more up to over here. Because this we have this has really good connection links straight to like the export area there. And we'll hook it all up with the train. So, you know, it makes more sense to throw it over there. Population's at 82,000. But I'm really impressed with this highway, um, this highway infrastructure that we've got right now. It's pretty good. No traffic issues yet. <laughs> yet, guys, is the key word. Yet. But we'll see how it goes. We'll just all really see how it ticks along and how it goes. But I am pretty impressed. Like I said, once I get the highway connection, like here anyway, it will benefit um, this area as well. Especially if I build some industry around here, because they could drive straight up to the road that connects to it on the off, you know, ramps they go. Sweet, mate. Sweet. And I think on that note, guys, we're going to end it for here. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good.